My name is Dr. Hari Haramurthy. I'm a practicing ENT specialist living in Bangalore and I've been in this profession for more than 30 years. Ear discharge is a common symptom in children and in adults. The most common is a straw colored fluid that comes when people tend to put something into the ear to try and clean it or because there's an itch, they put their finger and agitate the ear. The straw colored fluid is not abnormal. It is the wet wax that's being produced by the ear as a protective mechanism for the irritation that the ear is feeling. This usually solidifies into a brownish mass in the ear and this has a protective function. So the ear drum is protected by the vibrissae or the hair within the ear canal as well as the wax that is produced routinely. This is a self protection mechanism that nature has provided for the ear and every time you chew your food and move your jaw you are actually moving the excess wax outside. So you don't need to clean the ear at all contrary to popular belief. Now this is one of the discharges that come. You can also have bloody discharge if there is an infective problem. Blood with pus can come if there is a furuncle or something like a pimple within the ear canal which can be caused by over energetic cleaning and injury to the skin thereby causing an infection and a pustule forming there. So when it ruptures you can have pus coming out from there with blood stains. Sometimes there can be an infection within the ear and that can rupture the eardrum and you can have a sticky or gummy foul smelling discharge coming from there which is actually the discharge coming from the middle ear. Very very rarely there can be watery, clear, odorless discharge coming from the ear and that is usually caused by the CSF rhinorrhea. There's a breach in the roof of the ear which communicates directly with the brain and its coverings and a rupture like that due to whatever reason, maybe an injury, maybe other reasons, you can have the fluid that is bathing the brain come out through that ruptured bone as a result of which you can have CSF autoria. So these are the common types of discharges that can come. Injury to the ear can cause rank blood coming out from the ear. Sometimes there can be tumors within the ear which can give rise to bloody discharge. Especially if there is a malignant tumor, you can have a foul smelling necrotic discharge. You can also have plain blood coming out from vascular tumors like a glomus jugular tumor if there is any rupture of the capsule of the tumor. So these are different types of discharges that can come from the ear.